it's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ, 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 in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo do Gino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 27, 2020 Matthew 9 verses 9 to 13 Verse 9 And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man, named Matthew, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose, and followed him. 10 It came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eat your master with publicans and sinners? 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. 13. But go yet and learn what that meaneth, I will have mercy, and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy Matthew left all, rose up, and followed him. There was no hesitation, no questioning, no thought of the lucrative business to be exchanged for poverty and hardship. It was enough for him that he was to be with Jesus, that he might listen to his words, and unite with him in his work. Desire of Ages, page 273. So it was with the disciples previously called. When Jesus bade Peter and his companions follow him, immediately they left their boats and nets. Some of these disciples had friends dependent on them for support, but when they received the Savior's invitation, they did not hesitate, and inquire, How shall I live, and sustain my family? They were obedient to the call, and when afterward Jesus asked them, When I sent you without purse, and scrip, and shoes, lacked ye anything, they could answer, nothing. Luke 22:35. To Matthew in his wealth, and to Andrew and Peter in their poverty, the same test was brought, the same consecration was made by each. At the moment of success, when the nets were filled with fish, and the impulses of the old life were strongest, Jesus asked the disciples at the sea to leave all for the work of the gospel. So every soul is tested as to whether the desire for temporal good or for fellowship with Christ is strongest. Principle is always exacting. No man can succeed in the service of God unless his whole heart is in the work and he counts all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. No man who makes any reserve can be the disciple of Christ, much less can he be his coal of order. When men appreciate the great salvation, the self-sacrifice seen in Christ's life will be seen in theirs. Wherever he leads the way, they will rejoice to follow. By Ellen G. White Desire of Ages, page 273